Flying quad rotors inside confined spaces is challenging since recirculation of the propeller downwash causes strong aerodynamic disturbances. In this work, we demonstrate how real-time flow velocity estimation with event-based smoke velocimetry can be used to estimate the disturbance and improve the control performance of the drone. For our experiments, we use a small quad rotor weighing 210 grams with a propeller tip-to-tip -tip distance of 19.5 centimeters. To estimate the pose, we developed a monocular event-based motion capture system, which detects infrared LEDs blinking at different frequencies. We then solve the perspective from end points problem and get a state estimate with 1.5 millisecond worst case latency. For our experiments, we use a pipe that is five meters long and has a diameter of 38 centimeters. In the middle, our measurement location is equipped with 18 nozzles injecting smoke into the pipe. The smoke is lit up by a very bright LED light sheet, which we built using a circular slit aperture. The flow is measured using a second event camera on the other end of the tube. Using template matching, we perform real-time velocimetry on an 11 by 11 grid to get the velocity field in the pipe's cross-section and obtain sub-millisecond latency. Additionally, an RGB camera records standard videos for documentation purposes. First, let us look at characteristic flow configurations in the pipe. If the quad rotor is flying on either side of the pipe, a very stable circular flow develops. Our measurements show that this flow reaches speeds up to five meters per second. If the quad rotor flies in the center, an unstable two vortex configuration with chaotic behavior develops. This makes controlling the drone much more challenging compared to the circular flow scenarios. The key idea of our approach is to use real-time flow measurements to improve the control performance. As a baseline, shown on the left, a controller that has not been subjected to aerodynamic disturbances during training is used. On the right, we show a policy trained with aerodynamic disturbances, but no real-time observations of the flow field. While it shows less positional oscillations, it still gets buffeted around by the turbulence. Last, we show the performance of our method together with the real-time flow measurements supplied to the wrench estimation network. Compared to the two baselines, our controller reduces the position deviations by 28 and 70% respectively. While our method shows some improvements, it is dynamic scenarios where the difference is most notable. When flying from one side of the pipe to the other, the circular flow reverses direction at some point. This scenario is especially difficult and can easily lead to crashes with the wall. Only our method is able to perform this maneuver accurately because it actually measures when the flow reverses direction and counteracts the disturbance effectively. Our method, on average, shows a 71% reduction in overshoot compared to a policy without flow observations. The results not only demonstrate the effectiveness of event-based vision for flow-aware control of quad rotors, but also reveal characteristic flow structures that emerge during flight in narrow circular pipes. This opens up new directions for research on flight in aerodynamically complex environments.